Turkish Radio and Television Corporation, TRT, celebrates documentaries with a week-long film screenings, workshops, masterclasses and concerts. The opening ceremony for the 11th International TRT Documentary Days kicked off with a special tribute to late photographer Ara Güler. After a decade, the festival attracts great attention and is anticipated by filmmakers from all around the world. Since the day it was established, TRT has been paying great attention to documentaries the most and making a name for itself thanks to both in-house and commissioned productions. So TRT Documentary Days became the perfect opportunity to celebrate these creative efforts. This year, we've received almost 1,400 entries from 101 countries and we're especially proud of the professional approach the young filmmakers have. I remember when we first started this prize 11 years ago, we would be over the moon happy when 300 people applied. Now, in just a decade, the number is more than doubled and that speaks for itself. Jury members agree that having younger creatives in the industry is the way forward. The documentary field, um, in, in a lot of ways, has tended to lean traditionally towards elders and, and has also been, um, has not been, filmmaking in general has been a very elite medium for, the, even you know when I was coming up, it was very expensive, it was very challenging to get into it. Uh, you, you didn't, there wasn't a lot of access. And now I think with the digital revolution and with young people taking a greater interest in it, that has changed. And I think it's incredibly important to pass the baton and to have younger people who are really more in touch with what's happening on the ground telling stories and kind of stepping into our shoes. Organizers talk about the high quality movies they have been receiving lately. It's said that even the most low-budget categories like national student films have come up with stellar productions. Without a doubt, the popularity of documentaries is on the rise. And let's face it, so-called reality TV can't even come close. With subject matter as diverse as real life, the idea that documentaries are serious and boring no longer applies. And it's this kind of creative mindset reflecting all aspects of life that the TRT Documentary Awards is championing. After a week of watching documentaries made by a variety of filmmakers, TRT will be handing out prizes in national and international categories. Nur Senat Tutar, TRT World, Istanbul. And those winners were announced on Monday. To tell me about the documentaries that made it onto the winners list is Ita Gundebeer, member of the jury for the international category of the TRT Documentary Days. Hi and welcome to Showcase. Thank, Thank you so, so much, much for joining us. Thank you for so, having me. So, the winner of the international category is Butterfly. Tell me about it, please. What made it stand out? Okay, so, so Butterfly, interestingly, was a unanimous decision by the jury. We were um, six people, which can be challenging, as you know, because, because that could be an, what we call a hung jury, meaning that we could be split on a decision, you know, evenly, and then what? But Butterfly, I think what we all found was the total package as far as all the qualifications for this award. Um, it essentially, it had incredible storytelling, a great arc, um, and the direction was beautiful. The, um, the cinematography was remarkable. It played like a narrative film, even though it is a documentary, meaning a scripted film. It had the feeling that you were watching a scripted film. And, um, and the editing was perfect. It was not too long, it was not too short. You know, the music, uh, the, score, the score, I should say, that went along with it was complimentary. It really, of all the films we found, told an incredibly moving story in a very organic way. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's one of the, you know, the most important thing about and documentary And it is about film. Italy's first female boxer correct. to qualify for the Olympics, right? Yes, yeah, correct. Tell me about the story, please. Okay, so there, basically it follows this young woman who is, uh, as you said, and to repeat you, the first uh, female from Italy to qualify for the Oscars. And she doesn't have a happy story. It is not what we would consider a Hollywood or a Bollywood story in that it is not a story of immediate triumph. It is a story of struggle. And I don't know if I'm 
I shouldn't give it away, but I want to say that, you know, it is a feminist story because, again, to be a woman in this, you know, in her field is incredibly challenging. She also faced challenges at home. She's from a working class family, raised by a single parent. And the film covered not just her career journey, but it also covered her journey with her family and the struggles that they faced coming from, you know, a, what is really a, a poor part of a poor town uh, in and a, a sort of a in a poor part of Italy and um, and and she but it was again it was a complete picture of a really human struggle and that I think that's what made it really interesting mm -hmm. to us and speaking of human struggle the story of a Romanian boy and an unlikely father figure uh, got the second prize, which is the Ministry of Culture and Tourism Prize. Tell me about that movie, please. Sure. So this film, I think, was shot over, if I'm, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, it was shot over seven years, which is in, very impressive. A lot of documentaries of this sort, um, you know, they take a long time because to really to have a story arc, you must follow a person over a period of time to really see any change and growth and um, in their lives. And this young boy basically ultimately had to choose between his life on the streets and what could possibly be a stable life outside of the streets. And, he, and that was, he was raised essentially by a, a, like an, an almost an underlord of the streets whose, name was, whose nickname was Bruce Lee and who was considered the, the king of the street people or the lord of the street people. And, um, and it really, this, this filmmaker really went to incredible depths for, and, and that's not a pun, because he literally went underground <laughs> into the tunnels where the, the people that Bruce Lee was taking care of were living. And he was with them in the most dangerous situations, in the most uncomfortable situations. He, got, he basically, through his relationships, got incredible access. Mm -hmm. And that was really powerful. And it was really creative storytelling and filmmaking that gave voice, a platform to the voices of these, these very underprivileged people. So that was really important. And Gita, we see a lot of stories coming up from the Syrian civil war these days, but the third prize of TRT Documentary Awards uh, went to two productions actually. One of them was Under the War by Chris Martin. Why did you choose that story? What made it so special? I think that story, so this was a very, again, we were faced with a, what we thought would be a very difficult decision. And both the films that were chosen for third, the, the prize, the third prize, were really excellent. And it felt wrong to leave either of them out of, of the category. So we decided to, to award two. The, the, the film by Chris Martin, I think, tells the incredible story of the city of Homs in Syria and the journalists that were in there, some of whom, one of whom lost, two of whom, forgive me, two of whom lost their lives, um, others were severely injured, but uh, they risked everything to get in there to tell the story of the people in Homs who were essentially being massacred um, during, by the, you know, during the, the battle for that city by the government. And it was incredibly brave storytelling. Again, the access was unprecedented. And this story was the, one of the defining stories of the Syrian war, right? You, essentially, you did not, after these journalists went in and were eventually rescued and taken out, that was the end of any reportage from the city of Homs. And so this, this is an incredibly important piece of history an incredibly important piece of, um, of archive for us to remember and, and it needs to be, the world needs to know what happened there because it was incredibly unjust. Gita Gandabea, thank you so much for this. Thank you for having me.